Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Monotrak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the Architects Foundation. We're trying to go tall, we're currently in a war with the Gloss Wahani um, Foundation over here. Kind of annoying that they actually nicked our name and are also naming themselves Foundation. Stop that. Um, we're kicking their butt, uh, we've taken a couple of their planets already. They are close to actually being willing to peace out, minus 23, uh, we'll get there. Still waiting for the endgame crisis. We have pushed a couple of building sites um, for ringworms, just mainly because I wanted to um, spend the influence, make things happen. Uh, we had 10,000 minerals currently. Um, I could actually exchange some energy credits for things. Um, have I have I gone through um, these people? Um, yeah, we have the patronage. I could organize a festival, make people more happy. It's going to cost me 100 influence, though. It's a lot. I mean, it increases the growth speed, though. That's pretty nifty. Um, we'll see about that. I actually don't want to spend the influence right now because I'm still in building mode. Um, trade Enclave. We're getting your crystals right no we're not um governing ethics attraction i really want that though dude um apparently they didn't offer that when we were low on minerals i guess that is the thing um, um the zura corp i don't care about but the Riggin commerce exchange strategic resource yeah i want your spice dude um okay thanks that should make people happier should also increase our output in various ways. And then I still have 10,000 energy credits that I should convert. Well, maybe I'm just gonna let it accrue. Um, that could be a thing. Uh, we're sending our fleet into the next system, into the Hawk system, trying to take over another planet. The, uh, there's still some kind of bug shadow battle going on over there. Odd. Oh well. Where are these guys? Oh yeah, we have our first synthetic um, leader, son of a bitch, unit SOB, <laughs> um, was actually good at um, repairing stuff, hull repairs and all that. Has already reached the max skill level, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, the fleet is actually repairing, which I really like. That kind of does away with problems that you normally have with, on fleets with no hull regeneration, um, where they have difficulties operating on their own. Science Nexus Construction. We have now begun the massive undertaking of constructing a Science Nexus. The foundation is in place and preparations are underway to add the main hub. The promise of new groundbreaking technologies and the realization of ideas beyond our wildest imaginations await. And though the road ahead is long and full of challenges, we have taken the first step. Could the endless mysteries of the universe finally be within our grasp? The future is ours. I have built that right next over here, uh, next to our foundation homeworld. It's beautiful down there, isn't it? Um, right, we need 20,000 to upgrade this. We're nowhere near that. Actually, if I were to exchange um, some stuff, I could actually make that happen a lot sooner. Yeah, okay, let's trade for minerals. Let's just trade that stuff away. Trade some stuff away. So, right, that's gone. 16k. We're making 1.2k per month. So I'm not too worried that we won't be able to build our things. But I would like to have at least two more ring worlds that actually push out minerals. That would be pretty, pretty good. Right. Yeah, we're destroying the spaceport already. There's a ship, actually. Why are you coming over here? Is this some sort of rally point? Log updated. Could be. Situation log oh yeah, we've actually settled the first segment of our capital ring world. That's uh, a thing that has happened. Um, growth is Situation pretty slow though. Updated. Right, let's go ahead, let's land the armies, let's start bombarding a little bit. Or we could just destroy the mining stations, complete. I guess that's fine as well. There's another fleet. No orders. Could I not, could I not just take out that fleet instead of having them just run away? How's that looking? Man, that's a huge planet. Huge planet. I mean, it's no wonder that these guys are actually pretty powerful, because they've taken all the Pokemons. But we're going to free them. We're going to free all of them. Incoming transmission. And then we're going to be a very friendly overlord. Situation magnanimous is the word. We're going to be magnanimous. Energy credits for terraforming liquids. Yeah, we're not. Are we done over here? No, we're not, actually. 
These guys are really delivering us a fight. Construction complete. Come on, you can do it, guys. And the garrisons are dying now. Normal population people. Yes, these guys are actually pretty good, especially with the foundation things, with the concrete uh, neo concrete foundations. Enemy planet secure. And we got that one. Uh, we lost no one as well. Very good. Okay, 87%. Are you willing to give up? Nope. I really have to finish them off. Would actually be more beneficial to them if they just gave up and uh, tried to rebuild for the next war instead of uh, stubbornly clinging to the concept of um, of trying to fight this one out. They have no way of actually winning this. There are actually two planets next to each other. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, transport fleet is following the foundation defense force. That's fine. Oh, we have these guys in here. Gloss Wahenny. I mean, it might actually be worth it to just build something only in first energy arch to stop them from moving back and forth and back and forth. These guys want terraforming liquids for minerals. Yes, please. And I also got 20k now. Um, are we already done uh, with this one? We're not. We're not. I guess I'm going to start this one because I really would like to um, finish my capital ring world. Colonization in progress. Um, right, we're ca colonizing Agrarian District A currently. Um, got minerals. Um, I think I'm going to um, do something like um, build food and everything except mineral tiles. Because we don't actually get anything um, in terms of percentage. Rectalic neck order. That is a tongue twister. Rectalic neck order. Come on, people. Let's go to fast. Actually, wish to finish this war in a reasonable time. Come on. SOB. Get a kraken. 87%. I'm pretty sure that once we actually destroy it and uh, have taken these planets, they will just give up. Fast. Let's go to very fast. Situation Spaceports are going. Um, invasion is happening. I'm really not scared. 248 influence. I mean, influence uh, for those huge projects is hard to come by, but... And these guys want to continue the patronage. Yeah, why not? Invading that planet. Enemy planet and it's secure. done. Let's pull these guys out and let the armies uh, land over here. We only had half of our naval capacity. I could actually build up substantially. Alright. Invasion is happening at 92%. It's a bit of a shame that blockading no longer gives a war score, but it was odd that you got more war score from blockading them than from uh, actually having the planet in your occupation. Enemy planet secured. Right, let's embark everyone. Okay, we're 97%. Just give up now. Nope. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta hand it to them. They are stubborn to the last. All right, we're gonna take one more system. Beta Aquilae. Research complete. Neba Vada. Man, Pogo once had a really amazing starting position. You gotta say, they've been colonizing this whole arm. And uh, they had a lot of stuff. And they've given up. Very nice. Okay. So, what about these guys? The Pokemon Galactic Alliance. And we're gonna try to vassalize these guys. Um... Vassalization is what we want. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You want the Pokemon Galactic Alliance to become your client state in exchange for protection. Yes. Come on. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we're done with the Hull Integrity upgrade. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we finally get the Flag Battery upgrade. That's great. We're also still researching the Enigmatic Deflector. That is something that has to happen at some point. We force them to stop the atrocities. Now we have enough influence to go for one more big project um, in terms of influence. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, we're just going to have these guys um, return to foundation. 
That should be okay. Now the question is, can I actually attack these guys for the for my own vessel? Um, break down aggression pact. Do they have any allies? They do have a defensive pact with the Lyrites, and their independence is guaranteed by the Duna Dynastic Union of Nazira. Dynastic Union. Oh, these guys over here. That would be interesting. Getting into conflict with them. I'm not sure it's very high on my list. We actually also need uh, 250 influence to move our capital to this place. <clears throat> Governing ethics, attraction, monthly unity. Actually, we should really be working on this thing. Instead of hanging around doing nothing. I don't want any synths on the capital district. It might be odd, but... Okay. Very well. If you agree to defend us from all the horrors of the galaxy, the Pokemon Galactic Alliance shall become your vassals. Now, what has not happened is that uh, they lost their outposts in the area. They must have some outposts over here that stop us from getting all this area. That's fine, though, I guess. I mean, got a second vassal. Bunch of outposts from defensive pacts. There was a planet in here that was being terraformed. Post Hammerhead. Alpine World. And Arctic World. What are they terraforming these places to? Planet is not within our borders. Is there a second planet in there? No. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't just build a frontier outpost over here to actually make things easier. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, actually. Um, okay, got to humiliate. We stopped the atrocities. Our fleets are moving home now. Um, my armies are also moving home, following the Foundation Defense Force. I guess I could just tell them to go home. All right, then we're at slowest speed, which is actually not a thing. And someone has closed their borders. Okay, yeah, people are pissed now. These guys want to migrate. Should not be prisoners. Yeah, why not? Let let those people migrate. And I think I've already set the um already set that for the Pokemons. I'm pretty sure that the Pokemons already have full citizenship. Pokemon, yeah. Have full citizenship in our empire. There are three hundred and fifty four Pokemons. I think these are actually the second biggest species in the galaxy. Yes, they are. And then there are the synthetics, of which we also have a lot. Um, we have sixty one synthetics. And nearly, yeah, 394 post hammerheads. How many post hammerheads are out there uh, exactly? 422. So we actually had a um, couple of people migrate out of our area. Yeah, yeah, these guys have closed the borders again. I've done nothing wrong. I'm only trying to bring peace and freedom to these guys. Is this a big planet? Yeah, it's a 22 size planet, so. I guess people will be pretty happy down there. Um, bleak, habitability, food. But it is a capital world, so... I guess that's nice. wonder how many outposts I need in this area now. I wonder if I couldn't just get rid of Ophili. I'm keeping this for the ringwood that I want to build for these guys. It might actually be better to just get rid of it. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to start building the the frames. So let's go ahead and um, communicate. Hello. Minerals, please. Let's make it happen. 18k. Getting there. We're close. Agrarian district will be finished in a second. This place is not building anything, which is a bit weird. Um... I kind of want to build the energy grid on there for the additional unity. And we're done with the agrarian district, so that's nice. Let's go ahead, build a hydroponics farm. Let's build a visitor center on this place. Let's build another hydro farm. A autochton monument um, over there. Let's have you work this tile. I'm um, gonna leave that for the Paradise Dome, I guess. 
and then everything that is uh, minerally will get mines and everything else we'll get uh, we'll get hydroponics that's just how it's gonna go so hydroponics over here Construction complete. Migration attraction would be good. Oh, and we get another tradition. Um, let's go for... Neither of these actually helps us because they're both for Federation. So, yeah, oh well. <laughs> and we've got the 20k, though. Um, so we can start um, pushing for the frame over here. Very good. Come on, people. Looking forward to the enigmatic deflectors. These are guys actually have a lot more regeneration as well. Which makes them pretty potent um, over the normal shields. I would have liked the um, the power generators a little bit more, but I mean, you gotta take what you get. People have suggested that I should just um, save and load until I get what I want, but I'm no friend of that. And with 1.3k minerals, that's pretty nifty. Capital district. Still missing stuff. We need at least five pops to actually get that thing going. Um, is the other section... No, you're still being build, uh, built. 1100 days, 1300 days. Making good progress there, though. I um, think we're going to wait for the next 20k to actually start building the frame of Bregler over here. Where we got the site as well. Hmm. Uh, what we actually should do is um, build a sentry array over here so that I can see all the fleets. Uh, might actually not be a bad idea. We're going to be at 10k in a little bit. And then we might actually want to go for that. Research complete. Okay. Um, construction ship. Mega structure. How about that sentry array? I have no problem building the sentry array in the star in on the inside of our um, capital ring world because I've done that in vanilla version as well. I'm not sure if it was patched out, but I kind of like having something around the star. Um, it's actually not that costly. Only 15,000 each time. We need it, so let's go for it. Let's just hope that it doesn't induce more lag. Uh, flag battery. Let's go for the flag artillery. Very useful. That'll allow us to go for point defense cruisers. Good, good, come on. Get going. Capital District, Agrarian District A. There's our construction ship. Things are happening. And with the current income, we could also build ships very fast. And we have the Pokemon Kingdom declared war on the Gloss Bohany Foundation. I mean, I guess now these guys are pretty weak. Yeah, they're inferior. Pathetic and inferior. So, um, guessing the Pokemons would actually be able to make things happen there. Maybe. We do have a non-aggression pack with these guys. I could attack these guys and force them. Oh, I can actually take planets directly from them. But if I take Relaye, this is a capital planet, right? So I should be able to actually release um, the Great Old Ones at some point. I think that that is a thing. And we have campaigning for a new first speaker. Um, we've got to make sure that we have enough um, places for research. When you say one, two, three, four just right off the bat that are not being taken. Okay, yeah, I guess we got enough. I guess we actually got enough to um, make that happen. No problem. Sintamora block declared war on Empire of Raijin. Um, these guys have appeared just very recently, I guess. Okay, so we got Sintamora block Empire of Raijin. I, was, I thought they were protectorate. Yeah, that... What? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why did you go in an offensive war against the Ixidar and the Panaxla Prime and the dynastic union of Nazira? Are you crazy? These guys must have lost their mind. They're gonna get smushed. They're gonna get absolutely smushed. 
our factions. The first speaker is the leader of these guys. I really would like to have someone else. Updated. No, crap. We have re-elected our current ruler. Too late. Oh, well. Um, yeah, four research stations are to be built. So let's just have some construction ships. Oh, in the youth and system. Oh, there's actually some, there actually some minerals to be built in there. I've got you. Build the research stations. That makes two. Build the research station. Build the research station. Build the research station. Right, that's looking good. We actually got a science ship uh, not doing anything. Yeah, you're over here. Didn't you actually um, help research in uh, in foundation? Yeah, do that. Come on, chop chop. Um, these guys are in orbit. Um, these guys. I guess I should let them land on the capital. Actually, send them to the capital district. We need a spaceport on here. That's for sure. Research complete. And we're done with the enigmatic deflectors. Very good. I like it. Um, you're an industry dude. We're already making a lot of energy credits. I'm not sure if I need to push for another one. Let's just switch to you, maybe. Because he's actually he got the field manipulation and he's a synth. So let's go for that. And let's go for the shield hit points. Kind of like that. It gets us up to 66%. I mean, he's not a level 5 guy, but he's going to get there. Um, and that gives us one science ship who has nothing to do. Hello. You're going to get another available dude. Yeah, you. And you're going to assist the research in the science arc over there. 12k. We really want to start building the frame of this one because they actually take a very long time. 14k. I could. Incoming transmission. I guess I could actually start and uh, exchange my stuff. I guess I could have just clicked on communicate minerals, please. Uh, yeah, do all the mineral exchange. Okay, we're at 18k. What do these guys want? Research agreement. 10 years. Yeah, why not? Why not? That's fine. And a migration treaty with the party manufacturing between the Holy Altar. Yeah, if, if, I mean, if they like it, why not? That's the Pokemon Galactic. Are these guys Hyperlane people as well? Why have I only Hyperlane uh, vessels? Construction complete. I mean, I guess it's fine, but I'd rather have someone who actually matches my own. Construction complete. Um, stuff and we fulfilled the research mandate that's good cat is making a nuisance out of herself she wants out construction complete and so that she's not uh, being annoying in the background actually I'm gonna just let her out just one second Cat actually loves to um, to sleep in my office during the afternoon, and I rarely have the heart to actually kick her out. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go for the Ringworld site now. Chop chop. That's good. That's very good. Six thousand minerals. So basically, we should be able to. Um, how, how much is our our current Ringworld um, turning out? So fourth anvil is pushing 167, 209, 230, 225. Yeah, 225, 230 times four. So 800, 920. So yeah, about a thousand we can get from a fully optimized ring world, give or take. So we're gonna get another thousand from here, another thousand from here. That's gonna be really good. If I actually manage to get 3000, um, minerals per month. We'll be able to churn out stuff like there's no tomorrow. We're already pretty powerful, as is. How's that coming along? Sentry arrays being built. 
There are these little construction drones. They are 60%. That's fine. We have another trade deal offer. Minerals for terraforming gases. I mean, yeah, have them if you if you want them. I won't be in your way. Hmm. It would be really good if I were to build an outpost over here. Because otherwise these guys are actually going to um, push back. I wonder what gives them all that space. I guess, I'm guessing it was Selden, maybe. Um, the Ixida have taken that over. Have they called the Ixida into that fight? Um, yeah, Ixida are in, are in the fight with the Pogovons. Very interesting. Okay, we've got the flak artillery. That's good. Um, let's just finish the storm fire. Well, actually, there are a bunch of things that I really want in here. So let's go for the armor. Plus 5% more armor. And we should also go for a little bit of a redesign, actually. Now that I have my really nice shields. Yeah. We're already starting to have problems there. Uh, let's go for this one. Hmm. I, mean, I could just go for the hull regeneration. I really would like to have the shield regeneration in there, though. Shield capacitor. I mean, I could just pull off the um, the auto cannon. Well, I guess these guys are actually too small to really profit from something like that, anyways. Um, how's the damage? These guys are doing 3.58. 3.53. Okay, that's actually subpar. I'm going to put the Gauss cannons on there. Hmm. Well, let's put the regenerative halt issue on there then. I guess that's fine, system police. Oh, well then. Um, destroyers. We really should upgrade to the proper shields. Oh, they're at the top. Enigmatic deflectors. Okay, that does that. I guess I'm just going to get rid of one. And put another reactor in there. Something like this. I mean, these guys are not amazing. Because of the, because of the point defense problems. Um, although, I mean, I could just redesign them. And actually put something else on there. Maybe an L slot. Nah. I'm not using the destroyers anyways. I mean, they're, they're good in the beginning, but later on they're actually pretty bad. We've got 40 additional energy though. 40 additional energy, that's a lot. I mean, I'm gonna, gonna stay with the shields though. Cruiser has 1500 shields. Guy has been completely upgraded. No problems actually. Apparently we had a lot of surplus energy on there. All right, then that's fine. Um, what about the battleship? Yeah, we have 2,400 shields on there now. At a proper regeneration rate. This looks good. We could go for more long range. These guys have 100. These guys only have 80. Could just go for full kinetic artillery. I kind of like the setup that we currently have. We're kicking butt with it, so why change a running system? Um, construction ship. These guys have not been upgraded. I guess they don't really need it. Colony ship, science ship, transport ship. I've never built these fortresses out. And as a result, they're actually pretty bad. I mean, I could build them, but uh, static defenses are just such a waste of minerals. There's a huge waste of minerals. These guys, yeah, I want these guys to have a, an enigmatic shield, though. I want that. Um, let's just put in another... Zero point uh, thingy in here. Yeah, why not? Transport. That's fine. All right. And then I need a new design for the cruisers. We need um, everything on M. 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 And what we're going to have are the flag artillery. Because we actually need some point defense there. I do want the shield capacitors. And I do want a bunch of these guys. And then let's make some enigmatic deflectors happen.
Something like this. Oh man, now we have way too much. Hmm, well. These guys are gonna be called fleet police because they're actually there to police the rest of the fleet. Um, protect them from any stuff that needs point defense. And then what I also would like is another cruiser design. Um, where we go for torpedoes and other stuff that actually needs point defense. Um, so let's go for this. Let's put in a bunch of torpedoes here. Um, and then we're also going to go for missiles. Like this. These guys can't be stopped by point defense. These guys can, but I mean, you can still try to overwhelm them. Um, we're going to go for... I think we're actually going to go for advanced afterburners here. And then some zero point reactors. I mean, these are pretty expensive. Oh, let's get let's go for the shield capacitor. These guys have a fair range actually. Um, we need more more power. Something like this maybe, and then more enigmatic deflectors. Yes, this looks perfect. And this is gonna be the pre preemptive um preemptive police <laughs> auto upgrade preemptive police force yeah so now we got a uh, missile cruiser as well this looks really good i like it um Right, so we've got the fleet police, the preemptive police, and the quadrant police. I really got to build more cruisers in the next couple of episodes. I might even build some uh, corvettes. But I think I've got to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then yeah, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. We'll try to build up our fleet, finish our huge projects, and prepare for the um, endgame crisis that might uh, might come soon i think we're in the end game right now um so yeah hope i see you next time bye bye